Hi, welcome back to Happy Apple Core Homestead. Today we're going to talk about the health benefits of cayenne pepper. In front of me here, I have some dried cayenne peppers, I have some dried pepper flakes, and I have a cayenne tincture. Here's what the peppers look like dried. Cayenne pepper can be used as a salve and a tincture. I will put a link up here for you to make a basic tincture. It's the same even for the cayenne pepper. So follow that recipe and I'll tell you what the tincture is good for. Cayenne tincture is really good for your lung health, your respiratory system, as well as your intestinal and your urinary tract. It's also an effective blood thinner, so make sure you do not use a cayenne tincture before surgery. It is good for your brain health, including migraine headaches. Some studies have shown that a cayenne tincture is beneficial for lung cancer and prostate cancer. Last but not least, for the cayenne tincture, it's good for a sore throat, but be careful, it might sting. Now, I have a major tip about cayenne powder, but you'll have to wait until the end of the video to see it. Now let's talk about a cayenne salve. So that would be an infused oil. I will put a link up here to make a salve. It's the basic way to get your oil infused and make a salve. Cayenne is amazing for so many things that you can absorb right through your skin. You can use a cayenne salve or even just an infused oil um, like as a massage oil for things like muscle pain, joint pain, arthritis, bruising. Some studies have shown that a cayenne infused oil, whether it's a salve or a, um, like a massage oil, also works for shingles and varicose veins. I have not tested that out, but I'm really curious to know if any of you have had success with that. And now, before we finish up, a word of caution. Do not use a cayenne tincture if you are using cocaine, ACE inhibitors, or antacids. There are some studies that show that if you have ulcers um, in your intestinal system, that cayenne might not be what's best for you. Okay, now to the good stuff. If you are gonna make a cayenne tincture, which is an amazing way to consume this, be careful, you guys. Make sure you put it in um, a drink, like water, and with a meal. Your dosage for something like this is unlike the others in the sense that you only need one or two drops a couple of times a day. As you become accustomed to it, you may need up to 20 drops a day, maybe twice a day, depending on your tolerance level. And when it comes to joint pain, like a severe back pain, hip pain, um, more of the severe pains, it can take two weeks of consistent use for it to really show its true colors. So if you decide that you want to uh, start taking a cayenne tincture, make sure you stick with it and make sure you take it with food. And lastly, cayenne powder. So this here is red pepper flakes. Um, these are cayenne peppers that have been dried just like these and just simply crushed and put into a jar. If you want something finer, you can put it through a uh, coffee grinder and you will have a beautiful red powder. Now that red powder is not just good on your food, it will stop bleeding. Like if you get a gash, and you need to stop bleeding really quickly. I mean, God forbid, a bullet wound. I hope that never happens to any of us. But you can pour cayenne pepper on that wound and it will stop the bleeding. I can promise you one thing though, it's gonna hurt. So if you have like a minor cut or scrape, I don't recommend you pouring a bunch of cayenne powder on it, but if we're talking life or death and you need to stop bleeding like now, then go ahead and pour some cayenne powder right on there and it will help to 
um, stop that bleeding. I know it might sound counterintuitive when I tell you that taking a tincture can increase bleeding with surgery, right? Because I told you not to take it during a surgery, um, whereas putting it on topically can stop bleeding. But that is the difference between taking something inside your body and using it outside of your body. It has two totally different yet beautiful energies. And remember, I'm not a doctor and I'm definitely not your doctor. So check with your naturopath or your physician if you have any additional questions on how you can utilize a cayenne uh, tincture, especially the tincture, but maybe even the salve too. And of course, you can eat as much as you can tolerate. The worst thing that's gonna happen to you is a tongue ache if you go crazy. Let me know what you think of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do consider becoming a member and subscribing to this channel. I will see you soon. Bye.